ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday morning, the 25th of August. James Spann here, and once again, very active weather expected today because of the system that used to be Tropical Storm Fay down to the south. Let's go right to some sky cam shots this morning around the network. And it is raining at Selma. That's our sky cam in Dallas County, where a, a big rain shield has moved up from the south. Over on the eastern side of the state, Mount Sheehaw is socked in with low clouds there. You can barely see across the street. The camera's on top of the restaurant. We're looking east back over toward the lodge. That's Alabama's highest mountain there. The elevation right at uh, 2,400 feet. And from downtown Birmingham, we're looking north from the top of the Daniel Building. The sky there mostly cloudy. No doubt, Fay is the big story. Again, today, Fay is over southern Mississippi, and uh, during the past 12 hours, the system has stopped moving to the west, and more than likely, it's going to sit there today. And you can clearly see where the system is based on the uh, surface pressure map there. It's a little south east of Jackson, a little west of Hattiesburg, down in South Mississippi. And uh, there's a look at the radar composite. As often as the case, uh, we had a big nocturnal flare-up of storms as the low-level jet increased across the south southwestern part of Alabama. And that rain shield is almost up into uh, Tuscaloosa early this morning at 5 o'clock. So how much rain here? This is the expected rain over the next five days from HPC. And I think this map looks pretty good. You know, yesterday they were spitting out these uh, additional amounts of nine inches. That looked a little aggressive. This is more realistic. This is suggesting amounts of about four to five inches for a pretty good chunk of Alabama. Heaviest rain on this graphic, uh, south of Mobile Bay. That's 8.3 inches over the Gulf and got some good five-inch rains up the Appalachians from uh, northeast Alabama up to the Carolinas. And that is a very distinct possibility as phase slowly kicks out later this week. We've got a slight risk of severe weather today for a pretty good chunk of central and south Alabama. That's that uh, sector of the system that is uh, maximized for instability and helicity. And this morning, we've got a tornado watch for a pretty good chunk of south Alabama up almost to uh, U.S. Highway 80, including Demopolis and Selma and Montgomery. And that is in effect until 9 o'clock this morning. And uh, we note, even as I do this update here at 5 o'clock in the morning, we have active tornado warnings. One is for uh, Covington County. That would include Andalusia. And one is for Washington County. That would include Chatham. So once again, today, like yesterday, we'll be keeping a close eye to the sky. Tropical weather now. Understand that this is, uh, you know, Faye's not the only story here. We've got uh, 94 L, which is in the Caribbean now, a little south southwest of Puerto Rico. Convection is flaring. Outflow look, looks pretty good, doesn't it? Now, interestingly or not, many of the models do not identify this, and they do not develop this. The ones that do want to bring it generally over to the uh, Western Caribbean very slowly. I mean, really slowly. Uh, the no gaps is the outlier. It, it turns the thing north, cutting across Hispaniola. And as you know, those big mountains could easily disrupt this thing in a big way. But the, the general consensus there is suggesting more of a motion to the west. And, uh, you know, what's interesting, the GFDL on the OZ run doesn't develop the thing at all. I mean, it's just nothing. But on the 18Z run from yesterday, look at this, the GFDL ramp this thing up. It's got the 950 millibar winds at 140 knots, a big hurricane coming up through the, uh, the uh, uh, Yucatan Channel into the southern Gulf. And that's enough to get your attention. But again, the, the, the latest run here, nothing. So a lot of uncertainty with that. But we'll be watching. Let's get right to the model output today. There's the uh, 500 millibar look, and you can see uh, uh, Faye clearly showing up there. And down below, it's uh, drifting, if anything, back to the east a little bit, and that's going to put all of Alabama in a wet pattern. I don't think we have a big issue with tornadoes today. Uh, having said that, there could be one or two. You know, there could be a few warnings. Yesterday, we had a number of warnings. To my knowledge, no confirmed serious damage. But, boy, we had a lot of uh, photographs of wall clouds and tornadoes. If you go to our blog, uh, alabamawx.com, uh, we got gobs of pictures from our viewers over there. Amazing. 
But we'll be watching today. Uh, tomorrow, the GFS begins to move, Faye. Thank goodness. It's over uh, Huntsville in the Tennessee Valley, and again, that would keep us fairly wet. So uh, today and tomorrow, we'll highlight uh, showers and storms. Rain may be heavy at times with these tropical uh, bands. Now, Wednesday, the GFS begins to dry us out. And let's wait on the 12Z run before we totally move in this direction. But uh, it looks like uh, uh, Fay is near Knoxville on the way northeast. And if that's the case, we get a dry northerly flow here. And Thursday, we go totally dry. And uh, we could use a chance to dry out here. I mean, I, I know that we've been in a drought, but this is a drought-busting kind of rain, so that's good. Friday back in the upper levels, look at that trough up in the north. You know, uh, there's potential for the first frost of the season in parts of northern Minnesota this weekend. Are you kidding me? This is August. It is very cold around the Arctic region and up in Alaska. We've talked about that a lot this summer. Uh, down below that, we stay dry. There's a little bullseye near Memphis that looks like some kind of feedback problem. And then Saturday, well, this is the Labor Day weekend here. A lot of folks asking, what's the Labor Day weekend going to be like? Well, this is uh, one idea. We've got a cold front now running from near Cleveland down to about uh, Springfield, Missouri, uh, to the north. But that suggests any showers here will be fairly widely scattered. I think you can't rule out the chance of a shower, but much of the day will be dry. Sunday, that front kind of noses in here, uh, the surface boundary near Birmingham. So you have to mention, I think, uh, showers or storms, at least the chance, maybe Saturday night and Sunday with that front. And Monday, it just stops. It, it dissipates, as they often do this time of the year. And again, that suggests a, a chance of scattered showers and storms. So I, I don't think we'll have a washout unless there's some tropical surprise that we don't see here. And the GFS, again, does not develop any of the, the their 94L. Uh, but uh, we'll just watch that and see. And quickly, at the end of the cycle, on the 9th of September, Westerlies are still up north, ridging going on here, and that looks, uh, again, like uh, we'll have scattered showers and storms, typical maybe uh, late summer weather there. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, and that's alabamawx.com. We'll keep that thing freshly updated throughout the day today, and weather allowing, if we don't have any wild weather going on, we'll crank out the next uh, Weather Extreme video this afternoon by 3.30 or so. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. 